Hello, welcome to I Need to Speak with Your Manager. And though the thumbnail shows Bidon and Hyuna, it's not Cube or comically named by this all K-pop commenter, Cupid Entertainment. Uh, the manager I need to speak to is none other than the Korean netizens of K-pop. In a heartbeat, they've transformed into what the internet deems nice girls. You can tag our nice girls if you feel it necessary. With a curtsy and a milord, they revealed what we've already known, that they are thirsty, delusional K-pop dots. So over the weekend, it was revealed that Pentagon member Edon and Hyuna have been dating for two years behind closed doors. Hyuna released the deets. I think she may have been drunk. Who knows? But she put it out there. <laughs> so the first 24 hours was fine. Everyone seemed to be happy. And then in the first 48, all of that changed as negative comments started flying everywhere. And then on top of that, two more supposed scandals. I do not like using this word scandals to describe dating popped out over the weekend of two more members of Pentagon out here in these streets playing Mario and Luigi in these girls pipes. Then Korea Blue reported that the Pentagon fandom whose fandom is called universe. I mean, you guys probably should have called them like classified or executives really, you know, to rival army or VIPs like executives boss around army. <laughs> No? Eh? Mm -hmm. Korea Blue reports that the Pentagon fandom is now returning their tickets to the christening of the official fan club while saying things that if the roles were reversed would be considered shallow AF. Please observe. Do you know how many honest and awesome boy groups are out there right now? Who in their right minds would continue to stand a group that's been fooling their fans for years? Choice of words here fooling that's wild it was almost like you were expecting something out of them other than music but okay let, let's let's keep going i feel terrible for the other members this sucks because they're a rookie too but if i imagined this had happened to me with my favorite group i'd be furious i completely understand how <laughs> you know reading it <laughs> it makes me feel some type of way why would you be furious what were you expecting out of them other than music and visuals? Hmm? If this happened to me, I would seriously consider asking for a refund on the cancellation fee. Huh. These comments are literally interchangeable with the incident that happened a month ago where you had a Twitch thought that was so deemed beautiful that supporting her meant she owed coochie. Because they expect a return. I used to mod for a female streamer and she had a whale who would always donate to her stream and commission art from her. Upon finding out they were going to be attending the same convention together, he wrote her an email. This email was some of the most vile shit I've ever read. It opened with, we've known each other long enough and I've donated enough to you. Yikes. Then it digressed into his ideas of what they should do in a hotel room for the weekend. This is what Westerners do right korean netizens you guys always dog on us for being vile and not modest creatures who always try and over sexualize k-pop because we're filth this is the biggest bait and switch i've ever seen because you have the international fandoms thinking that k-pop is this pure place and no impure thoughts can be had or acted upon so the internationals enter these fandoms on their best behavior. As we all know, the West sexualizes everything. So we have to be on our best behavior. And so then they have you boost these dudes up the charts on international platforms like YouTube. And they get all that good ass YouTube money and website clicks. Meanwhile, the international fans don't even have chances, period, to meet their opas, but still thirstfully serve. But Korean netizens, wow. They've basically been planning gross-ass shit from the get-go, and if anything goes wrong, I'm sure they will blame the Black Internationals. Anyways, right, K-Army? The fail-safe of Edon and Hyuna dating is that it's in Korea. 
Right, Korean fans? Right? In Korea, y'all don't be out there in them streets gargling balls and slanging the dang, right? Y'all ain't out here being hoes. That's the point, right? You wouldn't need to be worried about what Edan and Hyanna are doing because by the bullshit you've convinced us to swallow, they aren't doing anything by Korean standards, even if they are dating. So where is your nasty ass mind going? Why are you pressed? Is there something you would like to care to share with the class that we don't know that y'all Koreans be doing? Because you done convinced all of us to join, especially the Muslims, who are extra modest that don't be thinking about that shit and are protected by the armor of God. So what are the rest of us missing? Seems like y'all are actually a bunch of thirsty ass thoughts and you don't want to come clean. This shit has got to stop. We need to support our content creators and artists not because of the possibility you could get it in with them. Support them because the content they make moves something in your heart, makes you laugh, something you can emote with. Because these looks they have, the visuals, fade, but emotions are a lifetime. Now with that being said, normalize dating for artists in Korea. You all have to do better for them. Like this stuff is just not funny anymore. Because you're a fan, you are not owed anyone's body, okay? Buy their merch and move on. I still like artists that are married and living their best life to this day. They make great art, great music because they are happy. Doing things like this makes them miserable. It's not healthy. It's not normal. You're asserting dominance over a person's body. And, you know, me as a black person, you know, I'm just going to let you know that I'm not cool with that shit. Because, uh, you know, some of, my, some of my kin folks went through that shit. So, like, get it together. It's not cute. It's not okay. Pretty pathetic. Go get counseling if you need to. Because it may seem like I'm being a, a dickhead to you guys, but I... Hope you all get well in the head, please. Go, go do that.